I'm Tate Brown and I'm an applications engineer for Go Engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce print time and material on a washer or gasket like part. A lot of Insight users are processing their parts using the green flag method. This essentially automates slicing, support generation, and toolpath generation. When we look at the processed part, we'll notice that Insight's default support generation produced unnecessary support for the air in the center of the gasket. Here, I'm simply using the page up and page down buttons on my keyboard to toggle through each slice. The result of printing this part using the defaults would be a much longer print time and higher material usage. To get an idea of just how long, let's have a look at Insight's build time estimations for this setup. Here we can see the time to print and support usage is significantly higher than what you'd expect from a part that's only 40 thousandths of an inch thick. So let's take a look at a quick way to eliminate the unnecessary support under the support tab and advanced support settings. Here change from the default to supports extended for base. We'll regenerate supports and this should produce the desired result. Click yes here to get rid of the old tool paths and from this view we can see the support is now only generated under the model where it's needed. Now that we've made the change to the support, generate a toolpath for the new support so we can get updated build estimate results. You don't have to do this, but I like to page up and down through the layers to double check my toolpaths. Let's get that estimate. We went from an initial build time of about 54 minutes all the way down to 18 minutes and reduced support volume by nearly 2 cubic inches. That's a lot of material. I think we can make one more quick change to reduce time and material even more. I'm going to go back up to the advanced support setup and change the number of base layers. I think 4 will do the trick and still produce a good part. Again, because I made a change to my support settings, I'll need to regenerate supports to see what effect it has on my part. If I zoom in, you can actually count the four separate layers created. I'm going to generate a toolpath for this new setup and get one final build estimate. Looks like we reduced build time by four more minutes and again reduced support volume. By jumping away from using the automated green flag method, we can make quick manual changes to our builds to save time and material.